So what is Watson? Watson uh, essentially is a technology for leveraging natural language text and from that understanding questions and then finding answers to those questions from the text. Beyond that, though, it's being used to solve much more complex problems to uh, do things like help diagnose uh, medical situations. And there it needs to understand uh, a very complex problem statement, uh, perhaps symptoms, uh, test results, the, the medical history. And then uh, by analyzing all of, all of that and leveraging content such as medical textbooks or um, the medical literature from journals and publications uh, come up with uh, possible diagnoses and uh, support for those diagnoses from the literature. Well, uh, Watson first has to analyze the question and understand what the important uh, keywords are or the important factors in that question. And, and then uh, needs to, it, and as part of that analysis, will identify uh, sort of uh, what is actually being looked for. So the, a question often has a lot of context about it, and then a, a specific uh, uh, focus that um, references the you know the piece of information actually being looked for, and then. Uh, it would use that context to search through all of its content to find candidate answers and then evaluate those answers with uh, different kinds of evidence and different kinds of analytics which can understand the evidence and uh, score those possible answers against the original question. Well, so what is Watson um, is a uh, it's a f fairly sh sort of a vague question. Um, I, I, sec I suspect at this stage there's been enough written about Watson where it would uh, find some content that actually specifically answers that question and, and would give you back uh, a relevant passage on the, the, that, that topic and hopefully it gives a more clear explanation than what I just gave. <laughs> A lot of the way that Watson works, I think, is motivated by the way humans analyze pro problems and go about trying to uh, find solutions, uh, especially when it comes to dealing with complex problems where there are a number of intermediate steps or intermediate solutions to get you to the final answer. And so it, it certainly is um, inspired by that process. And some of the individual analytics, uh, I think, have some similarities to the way humans analyze data. Uh, but a, a lot of it is, um, I think, different from the way humans work and tends to leverage the, the powers and, and advantages of a computer system and its ability to, for instance, uh, rapidly analyze and leverage huge amounts of, of data and huge amounts of text that uh, you know, humans just can't, uh, can't keep track of. So in, in chess, the problem uh, ends up being fairly straightforward to represent in a computer program. It tends to be somewhat mathematical. Uh, the, the game can be represented in a fairly uh, precise way. Uh, compared to answering questions, however, question answering requires understanding natural language, which is much more implicit and, and ambiguous and vague. and um, and completely open-ended, so it, it tends to be much more challenging. So the way that we're uh, first applying the technology is in the form of a decision support capability. And uh, again, it's about helping uh, physicians uh, leverage the latest information, the latest guidelines, the latest results that are in this ever-growing medical literature that uh, is really a challenge for the busy practicing physician to keep track of. So what Watson would do is uh, pr provide its own analysis of the problem and its own potential answers with easy access to the underlying literature 
that supports those diagnoses that the physician can then refer to and incorporate into their own uh, professional analysis. And so the physician is still ultimately making the final decision, but they're using this as a tool to very quickly and efficiently access much larger volumes of information to, to feed into that decision-making process. I think the, you know, the, the first uh, everyday application that, that we're looking for is the one that we've already been talking about, which would be applying this technology in the, um, in the health domain and uh, as a tool for uh, physicians and health providers to uh, have better access to information. Uh, and it's not only information from the medical literature, but also as patients build up their own personal medical history in the form of an electronic health record or an electronic medical record, uh, being able to leverage all of that information is, is a growing challenge. And we can apply Watson technology to, um, to help extract relevant pieces of information from the, the medical history for an individual patient and help with more uh, personalized uh, diagnosis and problem solving and treatment for that patient. Uh, other application areas include things like uh, contact centers, so uh, giving uh, you know, uh, help desks uh, tools to have their, um, their human um, consultants uh, more quickly find uh, information to help uh, solve uh, callers problems and, and give them uh, advice and information as another application. Um, you know, the, the third area that we're particularly interested in is financial services, so helping uh, financial services organizations leverage this technology to, uh, again, take advantage of unstructured information to help them in uh, their internal decision-making processes. Well, I think uh, again, it's the, the ongoing challenge of trying to create computer technology that can really understand natural language and uh, ultimately um, apply that to solve really important problems. You know, as we've talked with uh, physicians that we're working with and we're collaborating with the Cleveland Clinic um, in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, it's clear that, that um, they would really like to uh, get um, uh, more powerful tools to leverage information, whether it's from the electronic health record or from the medical literature. And there are uh, you know, interesting challenges for developing the computer technology that can understand the language, understand the, the medical vocabulary, and beyond that, uh, apply reasoning and analysis to solve really interesting problems that can help these physicians. <music> Thank mm -hmm. you.